Hello, uh, this is something a bit different to what I usually do here on the YouTube channel, uh, but I got a request on the last video. Well, in two parts. Wrestling Emperor, 11 hours ago, said, I want to make The Simpsons in Wrestling Empire for my son. Please make a video on how to make them. It would mean a great deal to my son. And followed it up with, Hello, bro. Can you please do a video on how to make Marge Simpson and Homer Simpson? Please, thanks. If you do, you are a legend and the best Wrestling Empire YouTuber of all time. No one is better than you. Keep doing what you do. Be safe. I said, okay, I'll make a guide on how to make The Simpsons. Now, the reason I did this is because, hey, you know what? I got the time. And also... It is insanely rare for me to be in a situation where I'm uniquely qualified to help someone out. So here is a guide on how to make Marge and Homer Simpson in Wrestling Empire. Here is a video for one person. So here's Marge Simpson or Marge Bouvier. If you don't know her, she's kind of the, uh, in many ways, the mother of the Simpson clan. Marge here is set to her actual age of 36 years, which I, I think it is. Uh, I remember Googling it at one point. For hair, we have just lucked onto hairstyle solid, 13 of 16. It's not as high as I'd like it to be, but you know what? It's the closest you get. Variation, 100%, no extensions, texture three, shave, nine. For the color, I've gone with 40, 35, 150. And then over here on, let's see, face. Female, 4 of 26. Don't need to worry about anything else, really. For body, I've gone with flesh. Female, 6 of 11. That's a wonderful flesh. Material, 1 of 48. No under pattern or over pattern. And collar, 5 of 5. For the classic orange bead necklace that Marge is known to have. For colors, we have just 200% green for the uh, body texture here. That's going to give you the classic green of Marge's dress. And 15% on red and blue, just to keep that from being too overwhelming. Oh yeah, legs, flesh, five of 15, material, one of 35. Knee pad, I went with five of 12, and knee no knee pads, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, footwear, eight of 23, these are my choice, and I tried to get them as close to the classic Marge orange color as I did. You can probably get them closer if you mess around with the colors a bit more. This color again, just to match the up, uh, the, the dress color up the top over on the arms. We really didn't do anything here apart from give us some fingernails. So flesh two of 10, material 11 of 17. Leave the colors as they are. And that is it for the cat, for the wrestling outfit. You can of course put these as you like, but I personally chose to have Marge running around backstage in the Chanel dress, a woefully underrepresented costume for Marge in across all of the Simpsons canon. Uh, just a gorgeous look. Unfortunately, you cannot find that many uh, representations of her wearing this in the games or in like an ac even action figure form or collectible figure form. If you don't think that Marge deserves to be part of the action, which I personally do. So, body. We have flesh, female, 4 of 11. Material, 3 of 48. Under pattern, 15 of 52. Over pattern three and collar five. For, in this case, some uh, white beads that she sometimes subs in instead of the orange pearls. For color, I've gone with 200% red, 90% green and blue. And I don't think there's any other difference. So we're just going to jump straight to... Actually, wait, no, sorry. For the arms, I've gone ahead and done 200% red, 135% green and blue. Uh, we have flesh, none, material seven, wristband five. This is so fucking stupid. It really is that I hope, uh, you know what? It's nice to be doing something for someone for the pan, for the, for the pants, the legs, flesh three, material two, pattern three, and footwear eight. And then for color, we have 185, 95, and 90. That gives you a pretty good facsimile of the Marge we all know and love. For moves, obviously, you can do whatever you want there. You know, uh, how your Marge moves is up to you. Uh, for me, this is coined by someone in the chat, but we went with the Falcon Arrow as a finisher, renamed as the Canyon Arrow. In tribute to Marge's wonderful car, the Canyon Arrow. Relations. She now has none as the result of a particularly tumultuous time in the story mode. But we'll get to who her relation was initially with now. All right, now, obviously... If you're a big Simpson head, you don't even need me to say this. But this here is Homer Simpson. I, uh, this is the fourth fucking time I'm recording this because I keep fucking up the menus. All right, so I'm just going to speed through this. Homer is uh, kind of the patriarch of the Simpson family in a Yakuza title sense. Uh, 
here I will run down how I've made him. We've gone ahead and... Oh, I'll turn my camera off so you can see this. Or actually here, you know what? Just, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I'm still here. Don't worry about it. Age set to 39. Height, 5 foot 9. Body mass, 392 pounds. Big fella. Muscle mass, we're all the way down. So giving him no muscle mass whatsoever. And arm mass down to minus 73% for those classic Homer proportions. Now, hair. Gonna go ahead and set that to none. Don't worry about that. So we're gonna go ahead and round down from the four hairs that he does have in the show to zero here. Doesn't matter any of these things. These literally mean nothing. Shaved, I've got to set to 17 out of 17, I believe, so that you just don't see any kind of sideburns. Face. Face six went with here. Beard 19. Uh, no other things to change there, but for skin, I went with 145, 135, and 55 for the code. For body, 5 and 1 for flesh and material, respectively. And for the color, 120, 120, 120. Then for the arms, I went ahead and gave him some elbow pads just to make sure he's safe out there as he's, you know, he's getting up in age. 200% on all of the colors. Flesh, 1. Material, 2. Elbow pad, 2. Legs. Gone ahead and cranked red up all the way to 200%, 105 each on green and blue for this classic red speedo look. Flesh 5, material 1, and footwear 1. Going with just the most generic boots we can find. There, that's wrestling Homer. Now for his casual, for his walking around backstage, he's going to want something that kind of gives him a little bit more to hide. So I went with Flesh 15, which is this beautiful shirt you see here, material 2, and over pattern 42, which gives us... The classic shirt that he wears. You could, of course, make this pink should you want to reference one episode where that happens, I believe. For the arms, I went with um, Flesh 7, Material 3. For legs, I went with Flesh None. No flesh on the legs. Material 1, uh, no pattern, no knee pads, footwear 1. And that's how you get those beautiful jeans with the color palette. 120, 120, 200. Classic Homer look. For me, I made Homer considerably shorter and less impressive than Marge on account of, well, I'm a Marge fan. And because if you go ahead and use Marge's, I believe canonical height, uh, you know, adjusting across the various uh, representations of her, she comes out to around seven foot two. And because the hair is so short in this game, you kind of have to put almost all of that just into the body of Marge. So she becomes a gargantuan woman. That's how to make Marge and Homer in Wrestling Empire. Should you ever want to. But you can probably work out a way to make them better. If you're watching this and you are somehow not Wrestling Emperor, uh, congrats. C congrats on finding it. Congrats on making it to here all the way at the end. I can't imagine that you're here. I assume you got into the bit where I was just going through menus and reading off numbers and you're fucking out. If you somehow met- I just realized you can see the fucking Marge costume in the background. You can see it just behind the mic arm there. Do you see it? Yeah. Uh... Well, like, like, comment, subscribe. Bye.